Hey everybody, um, today I just want to go over a little modding video to show you how to mod some of the things in FFFL. Um, uh, first, I just want to say that most of the things, like all the team stuff, you can sort of mod in the game. You can mod all the jersey colors, the colors and everything in here. I have another video that kind of goes over some of that. Um, but you might want to do things like, you know, there are some custom logos we have included here, but you might want to include, you know, your own logos. and. Uh, and you also might want to change some of the things, um, you know, some of the some of the players and some of the other uh, things that are going on um, as you start to play the game, change, change some of their values and all. Um, so I just want to show you how you can get to all the files and edit all those things fairly easily. So um, the first thing we need to do is show you where the save files are located. And so those are going to be in the app data folder. So you're going to want to go to your your whatever your local disk is go to users and go to whatever your username is but you'll see that the app data folder isn't here so what you need to do is you need to go to view and you need to show hidden items because the app data folder is a hidden folder on your computer um, so you you know you you don't normally see it so if you want to see those save files you go to app data you click on it so once you've navigated to the game uh, folder um, which would be under you know app data local low and then uh, Stout Castle Games and then FFFL. Um, once you navigate to there, then you'll see several of these folders here. Um, first, I'll show you the mods folder. The mods folder, click on here, and there is a folder with logos. So you can upload, you can put any sort of logos you want to put on here, and you can um, basically make sure that they're they're, they're going to work best if in their their uh, PNG file that's 2048 uh, by 2048. Um, that's going to be the best um, uh, one to use. Um, it'll work with other formats, but it might not look great. Um, so that you should try to put it in that format. So anything you put into this um, mods folder, um, in, this, in this logo folder under mods, uh, you'll be able to um, add to one of your teams in the game. Um, also in this mods folder, I will be adding a place for you to uh, uh, file that you can mod certain game variables. I don't have that in yet because I want to wait until after beta testing um, so that everybody's using the same game variables uh, during testing. Um, but uh, on release, you will be able to mod a lot of the game variables uh, in this folder as well. Um, and then the other thing we have here is we have a resources folder. In the resources folder, you can mod a couple of things. You can mod the word list. So there's a word list on here that you can mod. Um, this is used by this sort of goofy uh, uh, weekly event generator. Um, I'll probably trim this down myself. You probably won't mess with this, but it, it, there is a place where you can mod some of the things the game uses for those random generations. But one you might use is a names folder. So in here you can go to names and uh, under names you can basically open up this folder and you can see a big list of names they're basically anything that's separated by space will work you can see at the beginning it was in spaces of five but then i started adding names in different manners and copying and pasting from things um, so basically anything you add to this list is fine uh, anything that's separated by space will be treated as a separate name so you can add your own names into the game that the the, the computer will utilize uh, and then finally, the big thing is in the saves folder will be your leagues. And so you have a bunch of leagues here. And so you can click on the league and you can go in and you can edit any of the files that are in here, like the coaches, the, the history, tech, players, your records, uh, schedule, and then teams. So now you can see I opened the player file and uh, you can sort of see all this stuff in here. Um, and you can go through and go through any of the players. You can edit um, all sorts, pretty much all the variables that the player has. So you can go through. Uh, colors like their hair color and skin color and um, you know um, uh, their their stats for the season their st career stats um, of course probably the thing you'll probably miss with the most is their abilities uh, looking at that um, even the hidden abilities are here like all the um, the uh, personality abilities are shown here as well so you can go through and edit any of these things I will say that if you edit your positions and all those won't stick because the computer redoes the positions every time you open up the roster or every time it starts a game uh, based on the the settings that you have in there so so those won't stick but everything else you change in here will will, will stay with the, with the with the player um, so you go ahead and edit that and same with the other files um, uh, you can you can edit all those uh, as well. Um, and the big thing to remember is that when you save the file, you need to save it with tab separated values. Um, make sure you don't use the comma separated. Um, so save it as a text file. 
um, and make sure it's tab separated. Um, so depending on what software you use, sometimes it won't do that automatically. So that could screw it up. Um, and so you might want to back them up before you before you start messing with them. Um, and the other big things, uh, you know, the other big things with the save folder is, you know, you if you want to save your league, all you have to do if you want to back up your league, you just copy this folder, save it in some secure location, and everything you need will be there. You can just pop it back in and it'll have everything you need on there. Uh, the archives also lists all the previous seasons. So at the end of each season, it saves an archive of that season. Um, so you have all previous seasons to go back to if you ever need to go to a backup or something for, for whatever reason, that'll be all in the archives. Um, so that's about it to show you know some of the basic ways to easily mod the game. Uh, if you have any questions, just uh, hit us up on Discord, hit me up on Discord, and I'll be glad to answer any questions. Um, about uh, about modding uh, any of these variables that you have. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying the game. Take care.